Hello everyone, Spencer here from FS Elite, and today we are reviewing the WinWing A3XX Side Step Grip. This is a brand new joystick that is compatible with the Orion base and Super Libra base from WinWing, and is meant to be a replica of the side stick that you can find in a real Airbus aircraft. WinWing was kind enough to send me the stick along with the Super Libra base so that I could review this product, and I've spent the past week trying it out and understanding its pluses and minuses. Let's find out if it's worth picking up. The stick arrives in a standard cardboard box with an outlined image of the joystick grip on the outside. This cardboard box is the carry-in package for the product. There is not a detailed shiny box to show off here. Inside, you can find the stick protected by styrofoam as well as an interchangeable grip. By default, the stick delivered with a flat top thumb grip, but I chose to change that out for the hat stick to enable me to pan around the airplane. Unfortunately, I was not impressed with the change out process. Putting the hat switch in required me to put some screws pretty deep into the stick, which was uncomfortable and rather challenging. This whole process to switch it out took me about 10 minutes, which felt rather unnecessary. I would have expected this modular piece to be a bit more simple to change out than it is. Once I was able to get the hat switch installed, putting the stick onto the base was very easy. It just required me to plug in a cord and then tighten the fastener and from there I was set up. Now that we have it set up, looking at the stick, it looks very high quality. The grip looks to be a very good replica for the real Airbus side stick and it is wrapped in a shiny and grippy material. One thing that I was not impressed with is how visible the screws are on here. WinWing chose to use silver screws to hold in the hat switch and the ATC transmit switch. I understand from a modularity and manufacturing perspective why the screws exist where they do, but it would look much better if they used black screws here as the silver really stands out. Looking at the stick, there are three primary buttons. At the back, there is a trigger button, with, this is the transmit switch, operates as the press to talk switch to ATC. The switch fits comfortably where the pointer finger would sit, and the trigger reacts as expected when you pull back, coupled with a nice sound. On top, there are two switches, the hat switch and the autopilot disconnect. The autopilot disconnect is the nice big red button, and it is natural to reach for when flying, and is satisfying to push down on. The hat switch on here is quite impressive compared to most hat switches I've seen. The hat switch operates on an axis, so you can modulate how fast you are panning around the airplane, and there is an additional function that comes with the switch, as you can press down. The hat switch is in a very nice position, as the thumb can naturally rest there and pan around the airplane. What am I, one item I need to raise is that the hat switch did not work out of the box. I had to reset the calibration using WinWing's software, SimApp Pro, to get the hat switch to work, I would have expected something this nice to work right out of the box. In the sim, I have to say that I really enjoyed using this stick. It felt natural in my hand, and the buttons worked great. Additionally, because the stick is so tall when positioned off the base, I felt like I had really fine control over the airplane. This review is regarding the stick, however I do have to compliment the Super Libra base is that enabled me to have very fine control when flying. Some of you may not like the positioning of the stick high up like I do, and for that you can buy alternative mounts so that you can get it below your desk. So, should you get this? Well, it's pricey. The stick costs 250 US dollars, 
And if you don't have the base, you will need to get the whole package, which is 450 US dollars. So this isn't cheap by any means. There are two other Airbus side sticks on the market right now. The Thrustmaster side stick is the entry level one coming in at about 95 US dollars. And then the really high end, there is the Flight Simulator Center side stick pro, which is a few thousand dollars. So this stick is sort of the mid range for price. This stick is really impressive though. And I have gotten tremendous joy out of it. If the price point that win the Winwing A3XX side stick commands is in your budget, I would recommend this stick for you. So that will do it for this review. If you have any thoughts or questions, put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified for future videos. We'll see everyone next time.